Why did the nose feel sad? It was always getting picked on. Hi everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again. Going to be continuing our session gameplay series with BattleTech, set in the Mech Warrior universe. And session games, if you don't know what they are, is they're games that you can easily pick up, put down, pick up again at a later date after being an adult or doing the college kid thing or anything like that. Picked up BattleTech from the Steam sale uh, recently and in really enjoyed it i want to showcase it here because i love the mech warrior universe i love all things mech being an engineer engine nerd uh, i have a bunch of gundam models around my uh around my basement uh, man cave quote unquote that uh i built when i was uh, a kid i believe this game came out about eight years ago i could be wrong uh first episode was a little bit of a uh we'll say a mulligan is what i'll call it uh, we lost one of our players, and so because of that, we uh, got the defeat screen, and we had to restart the mission. This is the opening mission. We're going to try and get through that together. Hopefully we can today, and I will be swinging for the fences to try and do that, but not pushing too hard to where we fail again. So I'm going to skip a lot of the dialogue. The reason why is just to streamline things. Reality in this game is we are just simply escorting the princess or to her coronation to become queen of the Reach on this planet. The problem is there's a military coup that's going to happen because she turned down her uncle's uh, 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 preposition to become a militaristic authoritative uh, uh, dictatorship, essentially, in the, um, uh, in the reach in her system. So, like I said, I'm just going to be trying to move through. This game is a like little it. different than what you might have been used to from other battle techs because or mech games simply because this is a like rts style kind of game uh or not rts i'm sorry like a tactics strategy kind of game not an rts kind of game we are um piloting or controlling several mechs we're um on our way uh positioning them strategically and then you have you know chances to hit as you uh, go through the on our way here, we're going to Coronation Road, and when we get there, you'll see that there's going to be people that are uh, in their own uh, uh, mechs, but unfortunately they have, um, uh, they're part of the military uh, coup that is uh, trying to, uh, we'll say, capture the princess and keep her uh, under wraps or keep uh, control of her. So we're going to try and do our best to get past them without getting destroyed like what happened last time. Uh, I was re-familiarizing myself with the game, uh, and I brought you guys in partway through this mission. I don't think I can go this way. I'm going to try. I don't think I have jump jets on this character. Yeah, I don't have this one here. And I can't go that way, so I might have to go down this way. I don't think I can do that, though. We'll give it a sh We'll give her... We'll give it this way. We'll go this way. We'll go the way they that they want me to go. Oh, uh, let's see here. Where are you? You're right there. I want you to move up here. Right there. We, we're just moving through right now, trying to get to the, the call sign point. The game does have some uh, voice acting, and it's pretty well done um, for, you know, whatever you would call uh, 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 mediocre, is what I'll say. I'm, I would love to see it fully voice acted, but, you know, it costs a lot of money. So I'm going to have you go right here. I'm going to have me come in right here. So there are various types of mechs inside the game, very, we'll say, Pokemon style, um, where you have certain mechs that are just super good and certain mechs that are just not good. Lightweight mechs, heavyweight mechs, uh, mechs that are missile boats, mechs that are really good with heat dissipation, a bunch of other things. Yep, and then there, these are the guardsmen, they're trying to escort us, but there's something wrong because their battle mechs are damaged, and it's because they were in the... Um, fight for that broken down uh, 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 outpost there. And now they're like, oh, we don't have time to, for this. Now we're going to take them. So now it's going to be our turn. We're going to... There is positional um, pluses and minuses. I'm going to put myself here and position that way. And then I'm going to try and lean into this guy right here uh, and get him dead about as quick as possible. He's going to run up on who? Oh, Mastiff. Okay, the Centurion. Alright, that's unfortunate. But we didn't take damage. He missed, which is good. Uh, no, I want you to go. Help. Do I want you to melee? Or do I want to step back? I think I want to step back. Well, you know what? Let's just melee. Let's just melee it. 
Yeah, let's just melee it. So every mech has a chance to melee, and we punch the opposite side arm off right this mech. We, so there is um, point damage on this, so left arm, right arm, central torso, leg, and everything like that. You can target them. And he is out of the combat range. I have no idea where this guy ran to. Looks like he's over there hiding in the bushes because he got scurred. Um, no, I'm not going to have you reserve. I'm going to have you move here, position here. I'm going to see if I can hit this guy. Yeah, why wouldn't I hit this guy? Oh, because we have such a low chance to hit. Um, the Shadowhawk is a really fun mech. I like that mech. We're currently uh, piloting a Blackjack. Shot, shot, shot. Yeah. Uh, heat sink destroyed. That's pretty good. Okay. If you had any sense, you'd retreat. Um, we only have a certain amount of ammo, so we don't want to go crazy trying to hit this guy. But we will do what I can, what we can. We do have some lasers. Those are infinite until that portion of your body is destroyed. So keep that in mind. Uh, it doesn't look like we ourselves have missiles or have uh, lasers. We have or, eh, have missiles. We do have an auto cannon. That's pretty good. But it's how much? What's our accuracy? Th that would be the highest accuracy. But I don't want to waste the shots if I can help it. So I'm just gonna fire a laser. Just do a little bit of a damage on him. So the thing that we got to manage with, um, if you know nothing about the Mech Warrior universe, is this bar, the red bar below the uh, white pip bar, is our heat meter. You have to manage that on all your mechs. If you're firing lasers and things like that, you need to be careful to because me. you can overheat yourself really badly if you're not paying attention. Um, I think our our Centurion's gonna have this weapon. guy pretty much cleaned up here. Thank you for making me yep. That Pilot incapacitated. So a cool thing about this game also is that you have uh, pilot damage. You can give pilot injuries, which also further takes away from their utility in combat. Why are you shooting him? Princess was right in front. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's the he's the thicker thicker target by far. Um. No, I just want you to attack. Yeah, I want you to. I want you to hit this guy hard and finish him. I think you can. Overheat alert. Oh, uh. So it tells you how much heat they have. That's an 80% chance. Each one of these is 80. How much is this? That's 12. So we'll get rid of that guy right there. There's our threshold. Um. Yeah, let's call that good. And fire. Pretty good amount of damage. <laughs> it just randomly popped off. Oh, there's a head injury. That's good. That's that's awesome because that helps uh, us because they won't be able to target as well for us. Um, no, I do want to move and I do want to melee this guy. Think that it'll let me melee this guy? I'm not certain. Attack. Nope, it's not going to let me melee this guy. So, fine. Whatever. I'll just shoot him point blank. Unfortunately, we were not able to finish him off, so he'll have one more go at us. Oh no, we'll be able to go. Nice. Uh, move over here and position the way. Positioning matters in this game. Um, just like you in any uh, strategic game, you know, where you end your turn and how you position. Um, positioning absolutely matters in this game because if you put a weak, uh, exposed uh, uh, damage side to the enemy, they will and can capitalize on that really badly. So just be cautious, be aware of that. Um, 45% hit chance with that. So I'm not going to waste the missiles. We'll just fire our auto cannon and the other things that have a 90% chance. That's not going to finish him off, is it? No, it didn't finish him off. Bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Damage reduction 40%. That's good. I'm glad I moved him into the trees. So on my go, I'm going to fight this guy. Yeah, I'm just going to punch him. Melee 90% chance, 40 damage. This should finish him off. Really? Didn't finish him off? Wow. Okay. That's impressive. I'm going to have her come up then and fight this guy. Melee. Yeah. Uh, target size. No, I'm going to have her move to here. To here. 
and then attack. Yeah, let's do it. Copy that. Closing into melee. There we are. Good. Save our save our munitions for the next things that are coming. Hostile unit. Nice. Awesome, Kamiya. Kamiya, can you hear me? So Alexander is uh, a friend of ours. He's telling us what's happening inside the city. He's saying that the Royal Guard are killing each other and that the our uncle, Lord, the, um, I believe it's Lord, uh, Lord Carosa, Carosas is the one who's um, essentially the separatist taking over, trying to make a military uh, state. So seditionists, there you go. Yeah, they're going to the township, they're, you, you know, it, it it came out of nowhere. We turned down our uncle because of the offer of making our, our culture into a military society and a dictatorship. Because we want to rule with peace, just like our father did. But now we have to navigate through getting ourselves into the township over here? Yes, over there. Keep close so, and remember your training. Yeah. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. So here's the... Uh, the fun factor about it all, we're going to get ourselves into a little bit of a sticky situation, I'm sure, confirmed. as we come around this enemy, enemy contact. Let's see what's up here. So what do we see? Uh, oh, vehicles. Just the enemy vehicles from the first episode. I didn't know if there was going to be a change to anything. Looks like we can... Let me see here. So he's the one who can move. Let's have him move up here. We can go up and over right. this hill, and I think that's what my my mission is right now. I'm going to try and do that. Um, and uh, as a point of uh, strategic uh, information for you guys, if you reserve, you can move twice, depending on when you reserve the units. And it's like at the start, or, or the end of the last round, and then you'll be able to move twice, essentially. Also, if you don't have anything, always brace because if the enemy chooses to move, your enemy, your your uh, mech will be that much more secure. And you can kind of see them moving here. So let's get ourselves up. Uh, let's sprint. Can we get ourselves that extra step? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get ourselves up on top of this hill. And then we'll brace while we're up here. Enemy turn. Who, you moving? I see you. There's someone there too. There's a fourth one. I didn't think there was a fourth one. Tell me what you, you return. Need. Let's have you sprint, and you get up here, face that direction. Nice. So, like I was saying before, there's a um, there's each of these mechs: the Kintaro, the Centurion, and the Blackjack. These are pretty good mid-level mechs. I personally don't like the Blackjack. I would rather have like the Catapult or a Tree Bucket or something like that. Um, but there's a bunch of other mechs out there that are really cool. Um, there's also very uh, unique ways of making not strong mechs very strong and highly mobile. Things like um, uh, jump jets are a huge thing in battle tech and battle mech. If you have good uh, use of jump jets, you'll be able to really uh, change the flow of combat for you and your, your team. Uh, but not all mechs can have jump jets because some are absurdly heavy. So keep that in mind for how you kit out. Uh, there's a huge amount of customization in this game and it's almost like analysis paralysis. But once you find a certain like weapon type that you like, there's nothing wrong with going with that and sticking with that. Absolutely nothing wrong at all. I think that's a really cool idea for anyone who wants to play this game and wants to enjoy it. Can I attack this guy? I can't. Let me see here. Reaching shot. Can I hit you? Let's try it. No, it doesn't look like I can hit him. How would I do the... Yeah, breaching shot multiple target. So, yeah, it doesn't look like we can actually attack anyone. We don't have good line of sight. So if we move here, though, let me see if it changes. And then we attack. Yes, we can. We can hit multiple targets. Well, let's hit the one. Let's just focus on the one. They went... So I think this one is the next one that's going to go. So let's... let's. Uh, no. Actually, let's hit the one in the backfield. Because I think that one... 90% chance to hit. Sure, let's see what happens. Get him. Vehicle destroyed. Nice. So, the vehicles in this game are not to be taken lightly. They can... 
uh, still lay down a pretty good hurting on your mechs. Um, but they are susceptible to melee damage very uh, uh, very much so because they're lighter units and your mechs are like million ton death machines essentially. Um, she can go again? No, no, she can't. Okay, I was going to say that was really confusing to have, have that action again. Uh, if you were to move here, can you get line of sight? No, you can't. So I'm just going to have you sprint and come down. And then, you know, button up from behind there. Yeah. Because he's going to go down the valley and try and hit the Centurion again. I'm presenting the target down here. And they don't have, I don't believe they have the ability. They This might prove me wrong. So they got a little bit of hurting on the Centurion, but they the Centurion's definitely got the thicker armor out of these, these two knights here. Alright, so he's going to go next. I will have him... Talk to me. We will go first, then they will go. So she's got eyes on Follow my lead. pretty much everybody. I'm gonna focus and hit this this guy. Because hmm. I think this one already went, so I'm gonna hit this one here. Yeah, let's hit this one here. 90% chance to hit, might as well finish. Oh, jeez. The first just blast from the auto cannon destroyed him. Nice. Um, but circling going back to what I was talking about with, like, customizing your characters, there is a deep level of customization, like, analysis paralysis level of deep level customization, like missile boats, uh, machine gun rigs, um, laser rigs, and things like that. And there is nothing wrong. There are for the most part, I believe that you can really have viability in every single loadout that you choose to go down for your um, for your low for your for your mechs. I really truly believe that. So you know, experiment, have fun. That's the whole point of this game as well, where you can actually um, enjoy the customization and the in-depth level of which you can take it. Or honestly, you can also just the game and let them give you the mechs that they want to give you and just customize them in very superfluous ways just putting oh hang on Kamiya do you need me it's Espinosa your uncle did you hear house Espinosa is usurping the throne it can't be my uncle so this is what we ran into at the end of the last episode where they were coming in and they have now raised this entire section this entire city block um, Pretty awful, honestly. But that's uh, the world that this is set in. It's a very grim, dark kind of universe where the uh, if you don't have power, you have to fight for everything. And it's really awful. It really is. Um, it just it is what it is. You have no way of... Um... Nice job, oh, we got the vehicle. Nice, good. You have no way of fighting the system. And there are almost heretical factions or her yeah her heretic factions of uh clans out there that worship these battle mechs as gods or uh royalty of lineage and they're rare because the foundries to make these things are really difficult to one locate or build and two defend because of you know just in general the amount of resources that you need to uh create these giant hulking death machines so if you have one you are almost like i said worshipped as a god and the factions that own these things mercenary groups or uh companies or um uh, dynasties you know they use them uh, to expand their influence in the in the sphere in the uh, galaxy that you're in and that's where the grim dark comes in where if you're not with the winning faction, you there's war crimes, just a rampant war crimes all over. Uh, so this is our would-be sister. She is um, our cousin, I believe, and she is coming down to deal with us. She's trying to sway us to surrender, and we say no. We'll fight you to the last. All the things like that. And now they're gonna drop ship in. And this is where we lost last episode. So I'm hopefully hoping to not have a repeat. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions? 
and you will have me to deal with. Hmm. So there. So the cicada, the spider, and the locust. Again, like I said, there. Let's see, select a target with sensor range revealing. Reveal it until end of turn. Remove two evasion charges. The target also gains two sensor impair effects. Can I hit somebody though? I can hit you. I can hit you. What's my chance to hit? Those aren't gonna hit. Or those like. It's too far. That's why. Okay, yeah, there is range in this game. I totally forgot about that. Um. Yeah, let's fire the uh, auto cannon and let's fire the. Uh, Affirmative. Nice. That was a good hit, and we took him out. Yeah. Awesome. Battle mech down. Awesome. So the one thing I mentioned last time, as you can see here, is the camera's not always the best. It tries to do these action shots, but sometimes it just trips over itself, is what I'll call it. Where you've got, uh, where it like goes into the ground or something like that, and you get these obscure, like weird um, shots. It happens. It's it's not for any fault of their own. They're just trying. Now let's see here. Uh, you are gonna go next. You've already acted. I think I want to pull back. Like so. You have no uh, uh, turn economy in the sense of, like, you have to move and then shoot. You can't do both in an, any order. You have to move and then shoot, but if you shoot, your turn is over. So, let me see here. How do I want to hitch this? 60s. This is a better hit percent, and I'm just concerned, though, that if I do this, I'm going to get my head torn off by her. I just sticking around but let's uh let's do it let's let's uh let's attack oh wait no i'm i gotta position myself differently because i'm currently looking this way so how how should i do this if i move down i'm potentially going to be a sitting duck I'll position myself this way. I don't want to move down. I'll stand on the ridge here. And then I'll attack her. Yeah. That's the right way to do it. Yep. Uh, and she's the better target. Let's see how much damage we do. Structure exposed. A fair amount. A fair amount. Are you kidding me? We did it? What did we just do? That was amazing. I did not expect that to happen. This is going infinitely better than last time. Uh, no, there's no reason to reserve. Just have you come around the corner here. And I think we'll be able to hit this uh, last spider. Let's see. Can I? Uh, there and there. And then only a 45% chance to hit. Sure, might as well. Let's just uh, let's, let's do the overheat. You don't want to overheat. Jump jet destroyed. Wow. Okay. All right. We did a lot of damage for being in that range. Yep. So hit a, yeah. So, incoming transmission. Attention, Attention citizens. This citizens is Lord. Cordomadier Six. Okay. There we go. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. Mm -hmm. With the unanimous support of the founding houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. Mm. For your own protection. I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. All hostile units mm. stand down and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Resist and you will be fired upon. Well, that's a... Uh... My father placed his faith in that man. I gave him my trust. Yep. No, he's not. Uh, so, yeah. So, we are... We were going to be head of a coalition. Uh, how much damage did we take? Uh, we'll find out at the end. Hopefully, that's not, like, too damaging. Um, I don't want to reserve. I want to wrap this up. I don't see a reason not to run up on this fool and finish him off. Really? Our LRMs are that low. Eh, we'll still fire them. If they hit, they hit. 
Never mind. That tank, that cannon he's got is a beast. Come here, come here. Yay, do you read me? Alexander, thanks to God, I thought I'd lost you when the bombs fell. You nearly did, Kamiya. The city is lost. We have to get off this planet, and we need to do it now. I can't abandon Karamo Deer. This is my home, my birthright. You have to abandon it. The battle's over, Kamiya. Lord Madirian, Madiria has the right of it. It's time for you to run, escape this madness, and live to restore the coalition another day. You're right. You're both right. My uncle has won. The reach is his. We'll, mount, we'll mourn for it later, the both of us. For now, we need to move. I have a dropship waiting at Shepherd's Pass. I'm on my way there right now. Hurry and meet me there, please. We're, we're on our way. You get to that ship, Alexander. I mean it. We will not lose you and my throne on the same day. So there's our drop pod, but we gotta get there, and it looks like they dropped another... Yep, the pilot's incapacitated. Looks like they dropped another slew of vehicles? Question mark? Just a couple of tanks? Getting outmaneuvered. Well, yeah, you're overheated. I, I swung for the fences. So you can move into water to cool your tank, your your gear, um, your mechs off. Uh, yes, there is no water to do that. So I am unfortunately going to have to fall back. I don't have a good way of doing that, though. I'll have you move here and face that direction. I'm on it. And then I'm just going to have you brace so you can cool off. So that's the one detractor for for her mech is it just doesn't have good heat management. Um, let's move here. Let's, I think we'll be able to take out one of them. I think that's the one that attacked. So we'll have to focus on getting this one next. Let's see here. I think I can get that one. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have fired everything. I think it was overkill. Now we're overheating. Yep. Shoot. Yep. That was not uh, ideal. But, oh well. It's uh, too late now. I don't know if we'll be able to hit the, the guy from back here. We'll see. certainly see. Uh, we could... With our LRM. Yeah. You know what? Fire it off. Let's see what happens. Nice. Awesome damage and then he's gonna try and move in range he's probably gonna hit the princess more than likely he's gonna try and target the princess he says as he gets targeted but we were in the trees so we had good evasion all right uh, you can actually run up on this guy now I think yeah I'm not too concerned about it we probably have another round of mechs to fight here soon This is your last chance, cousin. Don't make me order your death. Do whatever you must, betrayer. A headstrong fool to the end. Damn you for this. Sigh. Captain Host. Destroy them. Mastiff, my cousin, all of them. Leave no survivors. Yeah, so there's def there's there's one more guy right there. That's what I thought. Uh, let's see. Can I fight this guy? Can I hit this guy? No, I can't. He's on the high ground. We will take out this one, though. Um... We do not need all of this, though. Uh, we'll drop them. Uh, let's drop those two right there, and then we'll fire. I'm on. We got the vehicle dead. Good stuff there. Enemy vehicle down. And then he's gonna come at us. Three mechs. There's three. Oh, the guns, the turrets. Got it. Ooh, she took us scuffing there. That's not good. Right, those two ga uh, rail guns worry me. Um, unknown turret. Yeah, light laser turret. Okay. All right. So my goal is to cool off. So I'm actually gonna move here, face this direction, and I'm actually gonna brace. And then I'm assuming that one can hit us. So I'm actually going to swing my Centurion around the side here. Fall in behind me. 
and then I could potentially hit this. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna want to do. I want to hit that. Let's hit it with both this. Those can't medium lasers can't hit that far. Let's see, does that do it? Uh, close. He's got jump jets. Good. I'm glad I was in this cover. I'm glad I was in the cover. That shot went internal. He gets two actions. That's just mean. I have to have her fall back. He gets three actions. Holy crow! This is like a boss battle. Totally forgot about this. Uh. I can't have her move any closer. I would rather have her move here, face this direction. Trample over someone's summer house. Yeah, overheat, I know, I know. Everything is, you have like no heat mitigation. It's super annoying. Right there. That's all I can do. Could I hit the other target? No, I don't think so. So we'll just fire at him. Yeah, the Wolverine is a scrappy mech. Um, I can't hit that yet. I think I'm pretty safe. No, probably not. I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't push it down the road there. I should move him into cover. And then turn and fight this guy. Yeah, that's the best play. And this is the ebb and flow of the combat. Like, I don't want to push too far up and have those lasers uh, have free reign to just womp on me. Um, yeah, fire. Burn that tree down and that... Structure damage. Jump just destroyed, so he doesn't have that much mobility anymore. Enemy Unsteady. Okay, I would love to know... This is one of the things where, like, tool tipping didn't really become a big thing until, you know, fairly recently, in all honesty, in my opinion. So I don't know what those debuffs are on them, and I would love to know what those debuffs are. Looks like if we just stay here and fire at this guy, though. Or do we want to fire at this? No, I think I'm going to fire at him. Because we have the chance to to hit him pretty pretty heavily here. Affirmative. Pretty good shot there. Yeah, all those hit. Nice. We're, we're laying a good smackdown on this guy. But as you can see, he's just got a really stiff chin. He's now moonwalking away. Because he had to get behind the rock. Okay, so he's trying to... Yep. So this rock... So again, positioning, positioning, positioning. In this game, positioning. 100% what you need to do. Uh, Tell me what you Omnia, need. can you hit that? You can't. Can you hit him? You can, but you will be exceeding your heat again. Uh, drop one of those. Yep, there you go. Uh, let's do that. Really unsteady. L lost evasion. Okay, fair enough. Can I... Pivot in place and fight this guy. None of those will work. None of those will reach him. I don't want to run up on this guy and have him just rip me apart. We're getting there. So the yellow meter is also like the big uh, thing that you want to make sure that you are looking at. Because the yellow meter is like basically instability is what I would call it. You've got my attention. Um... I think what I want to do is, instead of moving, can you hit him from where you're at? You absolutely can. Sure. If you move, hit him. Nice, we got it. Nice. That auto cannon that he's got, that auto cannon 10, putting in the work. What a waste. Awesome. All right, let's get ourselves out of here? Question mark. I'm gonna. You're here. You're gonna have to be here. And they don't have, like, overwatch mode. I'm going to run the risk of it. And I'm going to have you... Uh, 
How much life does it have? 90? So that's an overheat right there. If I did this, is that better? Yeah, I think I like... Let's do that. Let's spread it out like that. Good God. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Target destroyed. And then busy. Can you go here? Give it yourself that way. And then let's see here. Can you hit this? Attack. This right here. Yeah, those are the only two things that can hit it. Nothing else can reach it that you have, so fire away. Where are you aiming? Don't hit the dropship, we need that ride. Armor she's, she's getting really overheated. We need to be very careful about what we do with her. All right, so as for you guy, I'm gonna have you move up here, here. Aye, aye. And can you attack this thing? You can. Sure. I'm firing on the end. It's gonna be enough. It is nice. Worse. We're out of danger zone. Target destroyed. And we got to proceed to the evac zone. Copy that. There and we don't have jump jets, so we gotta go this way. We're just ruining all these sorts of substructures all around. But it's fine, it's on our planet anyways. Confirmed. You move this way, that. you move that way. Not that it's gonna matter. There, thank god you made it, Kamiya. Captain Halvorsen's prepping the engine now. In another five minutes, we'll be ready to depart. Five minutes is a long time. Busy. You see Lady Arano in the dock docking ramp when she's aboard come to me we'll hold this pass along against whatever comes thank all right you, thank you both I won't cool forget what you've done for me today so i'm gonna call this episode here we went a little bit over time busy gamer dad showing you battle tech set in the mech warrior uh universe love the game love the story arc i love giant mechs they're my thing like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. I will have a link for the game should you want to pick it up for yourselves or wishlist it and pick it up on sale if you want to do that. Hope to catch you in our third and final episode of our session gameplay series here we, where we take a look at a game over the course of three episodes to see if it's something that suits your fancy. Later!